okay. to sustain life. Right. 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 Um, so you want a house for your kids right. because you want to protect your family and provide for them and have a house. Right. right. So it's a contract where we both think we're doing a good thing. Okay. Right. So if I loan out a hundred thousand dollars to ten people okay. at one percent interest each. That means among them, there's a million dollars in that society. Right. 100,000 times 10 is a million. Yeah. And even at 1%, 1% interest, I'm a nice banker, right? Okay, right, right. That means each one of you all have to pay back $101,000. Okay. All right, so gotcha. collectively you owe $1,010,000. Okay. The problem is, as a group, you only have a million dollars. How do you guys all pay your debt off if that's that group only has a million. You can't. It's a mathematic fraud. Interest in in the Bible. Yeah. There's numerous. Uh, Which uh, chapter? What parts of the Bible? Deuteronomy. Okay. What does it talk about? Uh, I, I I'm I'm not like a Bible kind of guy. Okay. I'm I just a, right. saying that yeah. prophets f across various right. religions. Right. Like for instance, the Bible and uh, the. Uh, Islam yeah. and Christianity both forbid it. Um, in Judaism, what do they forbid? Usury or interest or reba. They, they okay. all mean the same thing. Reba. So but, in, you're saying interest is bad and forbid yeah. in the Bible? Okay, so they if, call it usury. So if someone were to invest in my company, that's a totally different thing. Okay, what, what kind of interest uh, are you talking about? Huh? Well, well, first of all, like just because somebody wants to get paid for giving money, right? Um, it that doesn't give you permission to victimize other people. Yeah, so in, yeah, yeah. in that expression, right, yeah. what will happen is nine people can pay their debts, but it's mathematically impossible for that 10th person to pay their debt. No matter how hard they worked, no matter how honest they were, there was, you can't pay $1,010,000 if there's only a million dollars in your society. Okay, so what are you trying to do? <laughs> Create a monetary system and okay. lending system right. that doesn't rely upon interest. Well, so so everybody gains. Is yeah, that, is that your goal? You create abundance. I mean, right? Yes, you want to create it. You don't want to create uh, people that get in debt and uh, and nine people gain, one people, one person loses. Well, yeah. I, get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah okay. So I mean, yeah, all, yeah. Just like the government victimizes people by hold, withholding millions and billions of dollars and um, other resources that you know that are keeping access from us. Yeah, we, like we don't that? want victims. Right, the institutionalized victimization of people. Right. So it's gotcha. just like a good analogy is you know what a Ponzi is? Uh, I've heard about it. Okay. Heard about it. Um, a Ponzi is where, let's say I, I started a Ponzi yeah. and I said, hey, eight people that I just met right. say, hey, each of you give me $100 a piece. All right. All right. I get $800. And I said, the reason why you're going to give me $800 or $100 each is that as you progress through this pyramid scheme, yeah. once you're two or three levels up, you're gonna get $800 in exchange for that $100 that you paid. That's a scam. All right, well the reason why it's a scam I is it, know. well you eventually run out of more people to recruit. Right. It's a mathematic fraud. It's a mathematic fraud. Interest is also a mathematic fraud. Depending on, yeah. Not mean, depending interest on. Interest on a house. Period. Interest on. Period. In, uh, fraud, interest on fraud, anything. A fraud for who? The it's lender, a mathematic fraud. The lender? Or the lender, the borrower. The borrower. It's impossible for all of the borrowers to, to pay, pay back. back. Some of them can pay. But what if most I, of, okay, so I, I have a company, and what if I want to borrow $350,000, and I give back that in two years of time with a 25% interest, okay? What if I pay back the money and the interest? Then it's not impossible. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying it's impossible for some people. Okay. I'm saying it's impossible for all of the people. So how would that just be like, impossible for well, me? Well, just then? like in the Ponzi. Just in the Ponzi, some people get the $800. But some don't. Most of them won't. But for my case, I'm borrowing this kind of money, and say I become successful, what would be? If there's ten people that do the exact same thing as you is, right? Like you know how earnest you are, and say I'm honest, I'm gonna yeah. make it happen, I'm right. gonna make it happen. Right. It's mathematic po impossible for all of you to make it happen. Absolutely right, because not everybody has the wisdom. And no, no, no. Now you're making it about. The intent and the goodwill and the power of the How about the, the business plan? No, it has no. What does that have to do with? 
the, the availability of the money. How do you pay back a million, ten thousand dollars if there's only a million dollars existing? But you create a business, you create a plan. You, you, you create, your business doesn't create money. But you my, have to my, earn the my money. My product it has money. No, it has no it doesn't. It has to exist. The money has to exist. But if I open up four shops That's good. The money has to exist. And they okay. You don't invent money. You you have to right. you have to earn right. the money. Right. And I borrow say I borrow three hundred twenty five thousand dollars and I open up four shops and they sell say half a million dollars. You're making this an elaborate question. It's not so elaborate. Ultimately, the money does not exist. One cannot pay what does not exist. Oh, I hear you. If I only a million dollars exists, you can't pay a million ten thousand dollars. But no if, matter how good your business plan is, no what matter invest, how blessed you are or whatever. What if I invest that million dollars into something that could prosper a million and a thousand dollars? All of that money was created as a debt also. Every dollar in, in the United States was created as a debt with interest. Okay. So if you create a dollar, you owe a dollar with interest. Right. So how do you pay the dollar with interest? Oh, you have to create another saying. dollar. Yeah, right. Well, now it's a dollar plus two times the interest. Right. It, it's hard. It's hard. Not hard. It's impossible. There's a difference between hard and impossible. Okay. It's impossible. How did you figure this out? It's just math. Nah, That's okay. what, This is why Jesus was calling them thieves. Oh, okay, I got you. Because it's impossible. It's all theft through color of law. Because if ten people get loans, right, 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 one of them will absolutely mathematically, no matter what he does, right. no matter how qualified he right. does, there's only a million dollars that okay. exists. So you can't pay as a society one million but ten thousand dollars. What if I bought? The money has to exist. What if I took out $100,000, bought a piece of property with that, and sold it for $250,000? Okay, where'd the $250,000 come from? The property. The $250,000 had to exist, and all of that $250,000 was created as a debt with interest. Coming from the buyer. Doesn't matter where it came from, ultimately, it's a game of musical chairs, okay. right? That's a good way to view it. Right. No matter how hard you run, no matter what you do, no matter what sneakers you wear, no matter how much you pray, there's only 10 seats and there's 11 people looking for the seats. I, I understand, I understand. So what's your point? The point is, is we need to end that system because it's enslaving oh, the planet. Okay, absolutely, because there's only so many people with $10 million and there's only so many people with $100,000. Is um, that what you're saying? No, I'm saying it's a system. The systemized. money has to be there. You're saying the money has to be It there. has to exist. Right. No, no, I can't put $100,000 into a property, and then if nobody buys it, they don't have the money to buy it, then it doesn't. Um, that's confusing to me. Ultimately, like, dude, whether you buy something or not buy it, like you're right. over, keep it really simple. Right. You don't have to buy anything. Okay. All right? Every dollar, it says Federal Reserve note. A note yeah. is a promissory note, which is a, a loan. Yep. Like you have a promissory note to buy a house. Right. That's a mortgage. Right. You're promising to pay. Right. All right. Well, they give you a loan for a hundred thousand dollars. Right. But you have to pay back two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Right. The hundred and fifty thousand dollars in interest okay. was never created. Right. I understand what you're saying. So what do you do to To alleviate that? Yes. Uh, number one, um, you create like if you want a hundred thousand right. dollars, I create a hundred and five thousand dollars. Smart. Right. Smart. And then because you levitate on that. Well, hold on. You create a hundred and five thousand okay. dollars. Right. The five thousand dollars goes to pay the modern banking system. Okay. All right. All right. You pay back a hundred and five. So the difference is you created a hundred and five, right. and the debt is a hundred and five. So it's sustainable. Under the existing system, you create a hundred thousand dollars. But you pay back two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So the debt. Totally impossible. Exactly. I got what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. You make totally sense. Yeah. You, How did you figure all this out? Uh, just like you have your unique perspective, magic, that thing that you focus on. Right. This company. is what I yeah. focused on. Okay. All right. Because it's the most fundamental. This. That's why Jesus called them thieves. Yeah. Because it. We well, called thieves for other reasons. They were stealing. Just not money. They're still from God, and when you steal from God, it's the ultimate sin. Um, well, how, I mean specifically, it's very tangible in this system. How, right. if if a banker loans out ten loans at a hundred thousand dollars a piece, yeah, right? No matter what happens, he's going to get one of those houses back. Absolutely, he, absolutely right. No matter no matter how qualified it's a those bars. Mathematical equation. <laughs> and a mathematical equation works 
based on math, not based on faith, how much you pray, how much you're willing to do, how much interest you, how much how much still you have. It, it's a mathematical equation. And because uh, God created money, okay? God created money. He created the system of money. So, I mean, it, all money comes from God. Like, technically, God created, you know, the man to create this. Well, man capital. created money. You know, man ultimately. Man created money, yeah. but technically, it's. It's just like governments, yeah. in a way. Right. It, all that is, all money is, is an energy transformation right. transfer system. Right. So it's right. a way that we, I can transfer my commercial energy to somebody right. else. Right. right. And it just facilitates trades. Right. Right. And um, when it's done morally, meaning right. without usury, right. the way we're doing it, we just give right. it away. Right. Right. And the other system created as a debt with interest. Right. A debt with interest is a debt. Well, it's unsustainable. Uh, yeah, you always have yeah. this much debt and right. this much money. That's why people lose when they when they um when they go to finance things and they go to um you know do all these things of buying a house and they don't have the money to buy the house. They go, well, I'll I'll, I'll get it eventually, and they don't. It ends up getting taken away and you're foreclosed on, or you yeah. know, it's like it, um if you don't have a job, you want to go finance a car for ten thousand. You go, I'll get a job. It's okay. You're taking a risk. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, ultimately, if everybody had the best job, if there was 10 people that had no. the best job in the world, right, it would be impossible for all 10 of them to pay their debt. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So absolutely, yeah. what, what it is, it's this contract where both people who believe they're doing a benevolent thing, yep. the borrower and the lender, right. through this system, they both think they're doing a good thing, but right. it ends up creating victims with mathematic certainty. Right, so you want to take over the victims. No, we want to eliminate system. the system, the, the system which victimizes people. What system do you have? Instead so, of well, better than so, that? yeah. Well, number one, we give money away. Okay. All right. In Ithaca, right. they loan money with no interest at all. Right. That way, you're not creating the chance. Vi the victim system. Right. You're creating. You're creating where everybody can possibly gain, and you're creating more money to go around. Yeah, we're, right. we're creating a game of musical chairs where right. there's 12 chairs and there's 12 right. people. Okay. If there's 13 people, then we're going to have 13 chairs. If there's 15 people, there's 15 chairs. Right. In the existing system, there's 10 chairs and 11 people. Right, I understand that. Right, so then if there's another loan, then there's 12 chairs and 13 people. Yep. Right? Yeah. So anyway, it's sustainable. Okay, yeah. Oh, man, I got to pee. Oh, okay. <laughs>